Hey, this is Evan from Octane and Electrons. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the Ancel BM300 Pro. It's a 24, 12, and six volt uh, wireless battery monitor. So it hooks up to your battery. You can see the unit right here. And you leave it permanently attached to your battery. And over Bluetooth, it will talk to your Android or iPhone uh, and you can use an app to control and monitor it. So let's go ahead and hook it up. This uh, is gonna be used on the Can-Am here, the Maverick, because it is stored quite a bit and I have had batteries go bad and I wanted a remote battery monitoring solution for it. So, oh, I'm putting it on backwards, here we go. So let me attach it here. So we're gonna check out the app and the functions. Um, the car is having some work done on it right now, so I'm not going to um, attach it just yet or put the battery in the car permanently just yet. Give me one second, let me attach these. Okay, so let's take a look now. We have the monitor unit connected. You can see the red to the plus, black to the negative, and it is connected. I don't see, I was wondering if there was a light, does not look like there's an LED or anything. That's fine. So we're going to leave it hanging there. This battery just came off the charger. So it should be charged up. Let me log into my phone here. Okay. So try and show this well here since we have to show another phone screen. There's some reflection sometimes. Um, okay. So I'm going to load up. I installed the app. There is a QR code or you can look up QR code there. You can look up the app on the Google store. And I already started it and authorized location permissions. No problem. We'll allow all the time. Okay. Bluetooth permissions allow. Notifications allow. Okay. And we're going to say add device. And we need the serial number correctly installed to the battery. We've done that. Going to grab the serial number off of the unit here. Turn it around so I can see it. Okay. 383. 383B26B4A614. Okay, make sure I have Bluetooth turned on, I do. Okay, it's a 12 volt battery, car, motorcycle, I'm gonna say motorcycle even though it's in an ATV. Battery type, this is um, standard normal, what do you see? I think it's just a standard lead acid battery. Regular lead acid, next. Device name, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it the serial number. Fuel price, I don't know, it's like 350 or something around here right now. Fuel consumption in liters per man, I have no idea on that thing, <laughs> so I'm not gonna enter that. That's okay. Add all right, let's see if it connects. Bluetooth is not connected. Nope. Keep within five meters, it is. Check if serial number is correct, I will. Try restarting Bluetooth, power it on again. So, let me check my serial number. 383B26B4A614, 12 volts, okay. Looks correct. I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect at the battery like it mentioned so we'll see if it will connect now i am replacing this battery because it's old and it kind of went uh dead over the winter but it seemed to take a charge well Let's see if it's showing up in bluetooth yeah maybe not Hmm. 
I think those bad smart batteries are my neighbor's trailer, not this unit. Interesting. Well, okay. Maybe my Ma Maverick battery is just completely bad. I kind of suspected, uh, I know it wasn't in great shape, but I thought it would work fine for this test. But that's exactly what I hope to uh, solve is with using this unit is to have um oh geez i gotta stop putting these on backwards Oops. is to have a way to monitor these batteries because i have a lot of vehicles that sit so okay now i know this battery is good this is out of one of my motorcycles and um has been on a charger all winter it's always been fine so we have it hooked up right Okay, let's look over here in the, the app. Try and restart Bluetooth, let's see. Hmm. Okay, thought I'd check that, but it's, smart battery shows up on other stuff. I'm pretty sure that's my neighbor's trailer. Let's see. Checking the instructions here to see if I'm missing anything. Download the app. Set all the permissions. Um, let's see. Scan record. Default device name is the serial number and can be modified manually. Okay. Restart Bluetooth. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's not that. Interesting. Okay, well, let me take a look and see if I can figure out Bluetooth, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I restarted the phone, and it connected no problem. So I'm not sure why, but uh, just resetting, restarting the phone worked fine. And uh, you don't add it through Bluetooth menu, I found out. So if I go here, like, it's, I don't have it paired. It doesn't show up as a Bluetooth device that you add. However, it clearly is able to read it just based on the serial number of the device. So anyways, I had no problem doing that after I restarted, it just connected right away. So you can obviously add multiple devices and manage them from here. The plus button will let you add new devices. We only have one. State of charge, 100%, showing us voltage, temperature. And we can do um, cranking and charging test, but I don't have a battery here in a car to check on, but that would show us cranking voltage, cranking time, and charging based on the um, vehicle. So I can do another video once I have this in a vehicle and we can check all that out, but very cool. I like the main screen. It's easy to use, has all your important stuff, um, has a voltage graph right there. That's excellent. Um, that's very cool. It has your location uh, built into it so you can track it. I like that a lot, super cool. Okay, history. So we can show battery history uh, by date, voltage, uh, state of charge, and temperature, which we just installed this, so I don't have any history here to show, but very cool. Devices, we can see the devices and add multiple devices to the account, which is awesome because I will probably add these to more vehicles since this is so cool. And all of our settings, power notifications, abnormal cranking notifications, power alarms, which is awesome because I'm going to set that um, to notify me if it gets below a certain voltage. Let's go back here. Since I have the notification turned on, here's daily power notifications. I'll show in the uh, system tray. I mean, in Android, you can turn that off, but I like that by default. So very cool. We're going to add that to the car when we're using it. It'll stay in there and let us uh, monitor it really easily. So this is the Ansel BM300 Pro battery monitor. Small package, um, tons of great features, nice app, super easy to use. So I'm a fan. I would definitely recommend this, and I'm going to get more of these to use on more vehicles. Hope you liked it.